it's exam season, so it's only right to do a study vlog. In this video, I will show you my favorite study tips and how to stay motivated instead of feeling burnt out and stressed. My college work is all due soon and I'm not okay. It's the season where everyone is stressing out, trying to cram in every single last bit of revision and studying and it's scary. But good luck to all of the GCSE students, all the people doing their A-levels and their finals. I think something I love doing is making myself like look cute before I study, then I feel like more motivated. So I'm just gonna put on a little bit of makeup before I go and study. So my go-to tip is making a to-do list and write down everything that's due or that you want to achieve. If you're like me and put way too much on your to-do list, write a long-term one and then pick a few things out that you want to achieve for that day and that you want to focus on. Then you'll still be productive while pacing yourself. You can write stuff down in your notebook or a journal or even your notes on your phone. But my favorite is to use Notion. If you don't want to feel burnt out, take regular breaks when studying. I don't know how to pronounce it, but I like to use Pomodoro timers on YouTube and the long the longer you study, the longer break you have. After your break, you're more likely to take in what you're revising. These are my snacks, I might have gone a bit too far. We got my squares bar, my noodles and my cucumber. I actually crave noodles when I'm like studying or like revising. I'm on the floor right now because I don't trust myself eating on my bed. Whenever you have an exam, I feel like you're constantly stuck inside your bedroom or at school. So I like to change my location when I'm studying. Take your notes or work to somewhere new, whether that's a library, a coffee shop or just anywhere cute. And if it's warm outside, you could either go to a field or a park bench. I absolutely love like refreshers from coffee at this time of year. I have the watermelon and the mint one. But I think my favorite is the strawberry lemonade. A bad habit I have at the moment is that I can scroll on TikTok for hours, especially if I'm procrastinating. Instead of scrolling on TikTok, make a list of things you can do instead. You can even make a focus on your phone so you can be productive. Some ideas I have are just going through flashcards, reading a chapter of your book, organizing a room, go on a walk, or just revise. Even though not all of these are revising, it stops you from procrastinating in general, which I think really helps. Similar to this, go on a daily or regular walk so you're not stuck inside all day because you need fresh Fresh air. You might know that I like to call it the hot girl walk. I like to put on a cute outfit, whether it's a tracksuit, a gym outfit, or even a summer fit, and I like to listen to music. I think the idea of romanticizing your life can be such a cliche when studying, but I think it works so well. It's almost like you're gaslighting yourself into enjoying something. Something you can do is by writing like a that girl note or wearing a nice outfit, getting a cute snack and a drink. I also like lighting candles and using pretty pens. I like this as it gives me like Rory Gilmore vibes and you actually end up enjoying studying. What's really important is balancing your revision with self-care and self-love. After a long day of revising and studies, take some time for yourself. I cannot stress this enough. Make sure you get your full eight hours of sleep. But I have my green tea and my book. And after being productive, it is so nice just to relax before going to bed. So this section of the video is going to be a very quick Notion tour. As some of you may know, Notion is literally my whole life, everything. Is on my notion so this is just the main kind of front page I've only got one page and even though I'm gonna change my notion every year this year is kind of like a pink theme it's kind of giving like pink Pilate princess so in the first section I just have like my daily to do's like everything that I need to do because I feel like I can only function with a to-do list I like to divide everything with little pictures so to the right is all my personal stuff so I have my 2023 goals I have monthly goals and yearly goals on there a reading list and just like random things for like food inspiration here i don't really use that one that much and i also just have like random bits i have i have a whole section for connor as well and right in the middle i have my college bits so i have my college to-do list and then i also have like an fmp folder which is for my final project and the section that i probably use the most is money and content creating which is right at the bottom so i have my overall wish list 
my spending tracker, which I sometimes use, sometimes don't. And I also have my summer must-haves and I'm starting to make an autumn must-haves because I'm that prepared. My summer must-haves is literally massive though. I literally want so much stuff, but it's probably quite unrealistic though. And obviously I won't show you guys because I want some of my content ideas to be a secret and a surprise for you guys, but I have my main video ideas, some video plans. I'll show you some of my old ones as I literally have planned so much for each of my videos. Like the romanticizing my life video, like I did so much planning for this video is literally insane. I have my monthly videos just so I can keep track on what videos I post. And I also have TikTok ideas, but most of my TikTok ideas are quite impulsive, so I don't use that as much. So if you guys don't use Notion, I literally can recommend it enough. So I'm just gonna show you like just some basics to get you started, but I would also recommend looking at like TikTok tutorials or like simple tutorials. So it's obviously quite plain when you start off, it's like very confusing. It's cute because you can add like icons and with the slash key you can literally do everything so you can add new pages you can add to do list tables pictures and everything but use the columns to create like different spaces and add your pictures and to make my daily to do's I also just added like a little sparkle as well if you highlight it and click on these six dots you can also add colors like this so I can add a yellow color and that is basically what I did and if you want to create a new page like this and then it will come up like this and you can just click on it. And once you get the hang of it, there is no going back. So if you guys want a template, then there will be a link in the description or just to download in general. And if you guys have any questions, just let me know and I'll answer them all. So that's the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I love you guys. Mm -hmm.